Hello, it is Tuesday, September 7th, 2021. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to my New York Times crossword daily solve. It's Tuesday, so the week is still young. The puzzles are still easy, we hope. But before that, let's address some clues from not just yesterday's puzzle, but also the previous day's puzzle, the ongoing saga of Arsène Lupin, the gentleman thief and or gentleman detective. I apologized for calling him a detective, but Chaz Maru comments again and says, Chris, you never said Arsène Lupin was a detective, but the clue did. The clue yesterday was Detective Lupin. I was chiding Grant Chakra and as always, Will Shorts. And then Peter Silk replies and says, I believe the confusion here is that Lupin has been portrayed as both a thief and a detective. There's a story where he has given up thieving to become a detective. And um, Ben Ward says, at the very least, there was a movie in which he became a detective. Arsene Lupin detective. So everybody's right. Nobody was wrong. It's all, everything is fine. And um, regarding yesterday's puzzle with the uh, glamorous names that might appear in the magazine Vogue. I was unfamiliar with Celine and Chloe, the brands that were cited there. And Ayushi Kaul says, even though you didn't know the brand names per se, your hunch was right. Celine, founded 1945, and Chloe, founded 1952, are both luxury fashion houses along with Chanel and Gucci and are often featured in Vogue magazine. So there we go. And finally, regarding Pez, as Peter Silk points out, Pez is, in fact, Austrian, an Austrian candy, so quite international. And regarding things being international or not, there were mixed opinions about yesterday's practice of uh, skipping the American cultural context. Some people liked it. A lot of people were not so crazy about it. So maybe we won't do that so often. It's tough because I have to obviously decide whether or not to do that at the beginning of a puzzle before I have any sense of which way the clues are going to fall. Sometimes I think that strategy is more interesting than other days. Maybe yesterday, not so much. As many people pointed out, those were some pretty pretty international uh, clues as far as American references go. So yeah, we won't do that so often. But as always, your feedback is very much welcome, so leave it in the comments. Anyway, let's get on with today's crossword, a Tuesday puzzle by Joaquin Bernakel, edited as always by Will Shorts. Are we ready to get started? I see no reason not to get started, so I will say, okay. Truly amazed. Um, truly amazed could be odd, in awe. And let's check the crosses right off the bat. A sound system component could be an amp, an amplifier. And to bend out of shape could be to warp, I suppose. Let's try that. Mascara shelf mates. So another, um, another makeup component. Eyeliner, perhaps? Yes, and it says shelf mates, so it's plural. As I was typing eyeliner, I started to worry I wouldn't have enough letters, but of course, these are the shelf mates of mascara, so plural. And here we go. We have spread on a banh mi. You might have mayonnaise on a banh mi, a Vietnamese sandwich. A last step in telephone instructions often. Press, press what? A number? I don't, I'm not sure, actually. It's probably obvious, not seeing it. Let's go back up to the uh, acrosses and keep going. Christina of 2003's Monster. I think that would be Christina Ricci, probably, right? Here we have pot covers, lids, fairly straightforward. Protective wear for a grill master, presumably an apron. Someone at the grill might be wearing an apron to protect themselves from splatters. A corn maze measure. Corn maze measure. I'm not sure. What is that getting at? Height or sort of the total length represented in all of the winding and wending passageways of the maze? What is going on in here? Is a success on the market? Well, if it's a success on the market, it sells, presumably. I was just wondering if this would be would also have an S at the end, if it were a unit of measurement that was, that was pluralized, but apparently not. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Many a guide dog. Leashed, perhaps? No. Not enough letters. Less cordial. Less, if you're less cordial with someone, you're, you could be icier. You could be less warm, less cordial. To anticipate with trepidation is dread. Sometimes I dread the Sunday crossword because it is, it is just such a long, long endeavor. 
Jessica of Valentine's Day. Um, I wouldn't have known this. I could have guessed a few different Jessicas, but I wouldn't have known this one without the crosses. Jessica Beale. Uh, not familiar with that film. Oh, a corn maze measure, I suppose, would be Acre. That's sort of odd, because I, I would have thought that would be acres. In other words, how many acres is it? Or acreage, the total acreage, the total number of acres. But I suppose a corn maze could be an acre. I would expect that to be clued corn maze measure, say, for instance, or corn maze measure, e.g., or something to indicate that an acre is one example. But perhaps there's a way of interpreting this that I'm simply missing. Many a guide dog, a Labrador, I suppose. I don't think I was aware of that, but interesting. A bend at the bar. This would be a plie, I believe. A, um, I think that's when a ballet dancer sort of, I don't know how to demonstrate it in this limited camera thing, but when they sort of bend down and keep their toes together, but bend each knee, I think that's a plie. Could be wrong. Can this be happening? Is it real? Registration table items. ID tags, I would bet, maybe. It's what you would get at a table when you enroll for something or sign in. Music genre for 21 Savage and 42 Doug. Sure looks like rap to me. 21 event for Zoom, in brief. That would be, I would imagine, Zoom's IPO, their initial public offering. A police car, often referred to as a cruiser, I think, for some reason. If one bamboozles somebody, one cons them. And the third largest of the world's oceans must be the Indian Ocean, after the Pacific and the Atlantic. Actor Beatty, Ned Beatty, you could probably guess that with crosses if the N and D, even if you didn't know Ned Beatty. Most valuable player and others, well, those are certainly awards. Some TikTok users, must be tweens, I guess, tweens and teens. Tweens meaning 11 and 12 year olds, uh, sort of not yet the teen ages. Regarding, uh, regarding as to, you know, straightforward. Uh, country separating Togo from Ivory Coast. Uh, this would be Ghana, I believe. Greek god after whom an ocean is named. Oh, interesting. Um, I'm not immediately seeing this. I'm sorry. It's breaking my streak there. Prefix with technology. Could be nanotechnology. And a square dance maneuver, do si do. That sounds right. Um, I'm going to pass. Could be na. You could spell that N-A-H or N-A-W. I think, I think I would ordinarily spell this N-A-H probably. And yes, that does fit here. Not easily achieved. If something is not easily achieved, it is hard won. And the Fountainhead author, the, uh, oh, what is her philosophy? Objectivism, Ayn Rand. Seemingly forever. Eons. Sometimes it feels as though a Sunday puzzle solve goes on for eons. A versatile blackjack card is an ace, can be worth either, what, one or ten points? And a kind of palm tree in Central and South America, it is our old friend, the acai berry. The only berry Will Shorts has eyes for. Ah, gotcha, I see. Um, what was here? I think we missed this. Quintet on a Chinese flag. Ah, stars. So here we have Hayek of 2002's Frida. That would be Salma Hayek. S-A-L-M-A, -A, I think. Hope that's right. Like a post-workout crossfitter. Um, they must be sweaty, one would think. <clears throat> out and out, out and out falsehoods. Um, not immediately spotting that. Let's move on. An obnoxious sort. I could be a snot, I suppose. My brain first went to snob, and a snob is obnoxious, but isn't necessarily it isn't necessarily specifically what snob refers to. Snob doesn't refer to being obnoxious; it refers to being sort of condescending, more accurately. Whereas a snot, I guess, is someone who's obnoxious. And a fish in an ornamental pond, often a koi, koi fish, in an ornamental pond. To say something not nice about somebody is to dis them. Um, oh, right. Here we have the Greek god after whom an, an ocean is named. Is it Atlas? Was Atlas a god or sort of a demigod? If one talks one's mouth off, one yaks. 
If one spoke hoarsely like a blacksmith. Oh, I see. Rasped. So what this is sort of odd. What this is a bit of a pun. To speak hoarsely is to rasp, literally. But a blacksmith also uses a rasp as part of their craft. So I guess that's what that's getting at with the question mark. Yeah, I suppose. November parade participants informally. Uh, vets, I think. Veterans Day in the United States. Out and out falsehoods. I see. Naked lies. There we go. And described vividly. Uh, depicted. I don't know if that's as evocative necessarily is what the clue wants. A butter serving could be a pat, a pat of butter. You might see a big pill from this as a pet, a big bill, I'm sorry, from this at a pet shop. A toucan, I suppose. So it's a bit of a pun, but it doesn't need the question mark because it is still literally true. You don't need to sort of use a word in a different way, like with the rasp, rasp, blah, rasped clue, I suppose. Um, a toucan is a bird that quite literally has a big bill at a pet shop. Danny, uh, Danny of all, if it's always sunny in Philadelphia, Danny DeVito. Apparently, they're <laughs> here in the UK. I guess they're going to be filming some episodes of the upcoming season of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia here in the UK. And there was a casting call for a four foot ten actor with a 45 inch waistline or something like that to be Danny DeVito's body double, uh, UK body double for It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. So I, mean, I think they've signed that show for several additional more years, which is quite impressive. It's been running for like two decades almost, I think at this point. Anyway, described vividly, it looks like depicted, doesn't it? Ripen, say, or show embarrassment. Um, turn red, perhaps? In other words, some fruits turn red when they, as they ripen. And also, one might blush, one might turn red out of embarrassment. Alternative to shoelaces could be Velcro, which is a brand name, actually, not a generic term. Angels opposite, the opposite of an angel could be a devil, sort of metaphorically on your shoulder, that sort of thing. To wash away gradually could be to erode, as in a coastline. A fancy Mediterranean estate might be a villa. A scathing review could be a pan. What thoughtless people may be on? With a question mark. So this might, instead of thoughtless meaning cruel or... Uh, inconsiderate. It might mean people without a thought in their head. That might be what the question mark is getting at. Founder of Zoom. Oh, look at that. It's a partner to uh, 2019 event for Zoom in brief. Always fun when that happens. That reminds me, I don't really know what the theme of this puzzle is. Apparently, as we now know, every puzzle from Sunday to Thursday has a theme, but I'm not sure what this one's is. Let me know if you do in the comments. Founder of Zoom must be Eric, right? That looks right. And Eric Yuan, I would bet. That looks like a name, Y-U-A-N. But let's let's check over here first. What V might stand for in electronics? What V may stand for in electronics? A volt, I would think. Here we have just sitting around, idle. And here we have one getting top billing who is a lead. So described vividly is depicted. So yeah, that's maybe more strongly put than I would assume. But I suppose it is true that if you depict something, you are literally creating an image of it, which creates a vivid description. So uh, fair enough, I suppose. Uh, let's see. What have we not looked at? Partner in battle is your ally. Oh, oh, here's the theme. <laughs> we found it. What the ends of 1721, 37, 39, and 59 across are. So that is pound, real, one. Ah, they are currencies. They are currencies. So uh, ba, 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 the British pound, the... Oh boy, what is the real? Is it... The, is it Brazilian or something? I can't remember. I think something in South America. The one is what? Korean? The Rand is South African? Boy, I'm this is I'm probably getting all sorts of things wrong. The Yuan is uh oh boy, I can't remember. Because the Chinese is the Renminbi, but then has another name as well. Anyway, not acquitting myself impressively at the moment. Let's move on. <laughs> Absolutely loved 8-Up, I suppose. 
bring in from the field is to reap the junction points, our nodes, and hazmat regulator. Once again, I think this came up yesterday, definitely an acronym to learn. That's, that's certainly been reinforced recently. The American uh, Occupational Safety Regulator, OSHA. Uh-oh, I've got something wrong. Whoops, it's been a while since that happens. Let's run back through this puzzle. Odd, let's see. You've probably seen whatever it was I got wrong <laughs> because uh, it's um, that's just how it tends to go. Oh, press pound. We never looked back at these tele telephone instructions. Is this right? Yeah, it looks right to me, the, the crosses. Mm. Oh, oh, sorry. It's not yaks, talks, one mouth, talks one's mouth off, although it could be yaks. It's yaps, not yaks. I should have checked that cross. That was silly. There we go. Okay. That was a Tuesday puzzle. I would call that an easier puzzle than yesterday's, at least for me. Because of all of that uh, sort of fashion knowledge and everything going on yesterday, I found that a more challenging puzzle on Monday than today's Tuesday puzzle. I'm embarrassed by my inability to correctly peg all of these currencies. Peg, there you go, there's a little currency pun for you there. Um, are there any, I think there might've been some clues we never, some we never even looked at here. What, oh, I see what thoughtless people may be on. They might be on auto. In other words, they're not thinking about what they're doing. They're just doing it in a thoughtless rote manner here. I don't think we looked at this. Regret is to rue short albums for short are EPs stands for extended plays. Although that's not really a relevant, relevant terminology anymore so much. Well, I suppose actually vinyl records are coming back into fashion, so to some extent it is. A nail spa, sure, fair enough. That's right, yeah. Um, anything else we didn't see? I think we saw most of the rest of the puzzle. Uh, yeah, not too, not too tough of a Tuesday. And I would say probably there's enough going on here that you could pick up any gaps in your knowledge with uh, crosses. So yeah, a fun, straightforward solve from Joaquin Bernikel. Maybe pronouncing that incorrectly. I apologize if so. Um, yeah, let me know how you fared. And I'm sure I will, I'm sure I will get corrected on all of my currency <laughs> misconceptions uh, very soon, which I look forward to. If you enjoyed this puzzle, why not subscribe? Click that bell or the subscription button. I'm not sure what the difference is. I think maybe the bell is for notifications and otherwise you can subscribe without notifications. Either one of those, whichever you like, whichever you'd prefer. And uh, if you think you might know someone else who might be interested in clicking a bell or a subscribe button on this series, why not pass the channel along to them? They might know it or they might, well, they might know some of these areas of knowledge and have fun filling out a crossword. And perhaps this video series would be a fitting companion. And finally, if you are particularly enjoying the companionship of this series, why not toss me a couple of quid or a few bucks through my coffee donation page to help uh, make this whole thing sustainable going forward. You can donate in an amount of your choosing on a one-off or monthly recurring basis. And thank you so much to everybody who has donated in any capacity, and particularly those of you who have done so with that monthly recurring option. It means a lot to me. It really does. And even if not, thank you for watching this video and for making it to the end. And I hope I see you tomorrow for the midweek puzzle, the Wednesday puzzle. And until that point, have an excellent rest of your Tuesday. Take care. Mm -hmm.